Am I the bleep hole? This is a, a great Reddit. You could probably do a whole show based on just these am I the a-hole stories. It's oh, sure. a it's abbreviated as the acronym is A-I-T-A-H. Am I the bleep hole? And people just relay a story of something that happened and this is the situation, these are the circumstances. Am I the bleep hole in this matter or is it somebody else? Now, I've said on multiple occasions that I'm sure not all these stories are real. Kind of like those advice column stories like uh, Dear Abby and that kind of crap. I'm sure half of those were made up. Or people actually sent in letters or emails and just made you know crap up in that. So the question is, how many of these am I the bleep holes are real versus people just posting stuff and sharpening their writing skills for Reddit. <laughs> yeah. that, that's the question. All right, here, here's a story. Am I the A-H, the bleep hole, for divorcing my husband because of his farts? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. This is, I'm going to call BS right now. <laughs> that's, Made up. It's an early edition, early edition of this. I truly wish this were a joke. Part of this whole situation is on me for not dating him for a long enough time before we got married, and a big chunk of that dating was spent having completely lost my sense of smell from COVID. <laughs> oh, no. uh, okay. Come on. <laughs> that, that fact alone is absolutely unbelievable but true. Side note, I got my smell back. The other wild part is that while we were dating, we hung over at my place mainly, and I didn't carry a lot of unhealthy snacks for him to snack on at night. The fact is very relevant to the story. Oh, sure it is. Once we got married, things went downhill very quickly. He started inhaling as many snacks and as much dairy as possible at night. Sometimes he would go out and get a deep dish fried cheese loaded pizza and devour it at 11 p.m. after eating an entire bag of greasy chips and like 27 pieces of taffy and a glass of milk or three. At first, I thought it was just a bad fart here and there. <laughs> but no. as the nights progressed, I realized... <laughs> that the bad farts were becoming a nightly nightmare. I'm calling BS on this entire story. It's a funny story. Yeah, it, it is kind it of is. funny. I, I think she could divorce him just on the gross, like, picking out before bedtime rather than the tooting. Uh, I know what normal stinky farts are, even bad sulfuric farts, but oh my God. these are not simply either of those. These farts are incompatible with life itself. Okay, th this person just wanted to write about gas. I love how descriptive uh, they yeah. are, though. Th these farts are incompatible with life itself. <laughs> it's, it's very well written. It's, uh, that, that gives you a description that I think nailed it. Okay. <laughs> This is very. This goes on for like two more pages. I can't do the whole thing, but it's fantastic. Uh, uh, this brings up a story we may have done in the past that there's some evidence that smelling farts has health benefits. Oh, jeez, we've never done that. We haven't. No. Well, I feel like it's something we would do. No, don't you? We, no. We, what, <laughs> what now? You're you're imagining content on the MJ Morning I, Show. This, this seems like right up our alley. Yeah, yeah. Roxanne, I have great news for you. <laughs> Literally been, right up our alley. I've been contributing to your better health <laughs> low key for the last several let, years. Let me let me read a little more here. The first time one really hit me in the face, I projectile vomited. <laughs> <laughs> I could taste them. Come on. They were Ooh. almost tangible objects in the air. Oh, okay. I'm convinced they are soaked into the carpet and the walls. Rotten egg is not even enough to describe what the smell is. It's almost as if something literally died inside his stomach. 
and was leaking into the air trying to kill anyone that smells it. Okay, this is a frustrated writer who's going to get their kicks on Reddit and loves writing about farting. That's pretty much it. Some kind of fart yeah. fetish here. Yeah, it really is. Get their kicks on Route 46. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the, his farts are not human. They are not silly little rotten eggs. There is something wrong with them. Totally. These farts are almost alive with a mind of their own. Okay. And they're terrifying. It sounds if, like she likes talking about farts as much as he likes doing it. If there was a horror movie made about farts, it would be about his. This is so <laughs> This is so phony. I I mean I had to do this. I mean, you had to. Is it a real premise though that is are there people out there who are contemplating ending their relationship over flatulence? I started routine prescription nausea medication to keep my food down at night just in case because it was becoming kind of a health hazard because of how sick it was making me. Anyway, I'm so horrified I even, uh, oh, well, hang on a minute. When, it, I, when I asked him if he thought the amount of food he was inhaling every night was causing this, he said yes. I asked him maybe he could slow down or substitute for healthier snacks such as sea salt popcorn or a bit lighter and less full of thick cheese snacks and he said no his reasoning he said he likes the way his farts feel exiting as they vibrate his prostate okay this, now this is getting really kinky and gross that, all right i mean who doesn't come on folks the reason why i'm doing this at 6 29 in the morning and not more 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 like 7.30, 7 45. Uh, my life has become a living nightmare as I could no longer sleep in my room and also remain alive. Uh, anyway, this thing goes on for like seven or eight more paragraphs. It ends with, anyway, that is the story of why I'm divorcing my husband over farts. On the surface level, I know it sounds like it's just about the farts. And then, <laughs> kinda. And then I'm just a really shallow li wife, but I think it's actually so much deeper. It just is hard to explain how. Now, there you go. I think she did a pretty good job explaining. Pretty graphic. Am I the phony ass bleep? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think it's a totally phony story. Uh, I think she has the right to divorce him just based on him saying that he likes how a toot vibrates his butt. Those are facts. <laughs> oh my God. So, That's the reality. Anyway, there is entertainment to be had in the Reddit group. Am I the bleep hole? Because I think some of the stories are real, but I think plenty are just people just coming up with concepts and, and kind of like the crank calls of internet message boards, you know? Yeah. Like the crotchety old man call, just, just doing, you know, phony, you know, Prank phone calls. He's trying to get somebody. <laughs> yeah, trying to come up with a phony scenario to, to really stick it to somebody. <laughs>